Morning guys, quick tutorial for you today on how to do a knockout design. We're going to do it two different ways so that you have uh, a couple of options. So right now I'm going to do a shirt for my daughter for her school. Their mascot is a Mustang. You want to try to find a font that's nice and thick. Impact is a really good one for these. Type out your word center them enlarge them now see how you have this big gap between them you don't want any kind of gaps when you do an actual knockout so if you go to your text and go to line spacing and just hit the down arrow that'll lift the word up towards the other one and let's just take a minute Almost there. And then you see how we have some gaps between the letters. We can also change that with a character spacing. Now once you're happy with all the spacing, you want to take your main image and make sure it's in the front. So we right click it and bring to front. And I've just colored it a different color so that you can see it a little better. And then size it and place it in the letters how you see fit. Sometimes when you have letters like a C or an O with a big gap, it will distort the image a little bit. So you just kind of have to play around with where you want it to sit and what size you want it to be. So that looks like it'll be fine. Now you group this so that it stays together. And then you do a copy and a paste. Now with your first one, you're going to go to your modified window and hit subtract. I think this is because I grouped it. Let's just ungroup it really quick. Let's try that again. Subtract. There we go. And then right click and hit group so that it stays together. On the bottom one, ungroup it. And then crop. Now, depending on the type of image, this might take a minute. And then right click that and group it as well. Now, her school colors are blue and yellow, so we'll make the Mustang yellow and the font blue. Now, you can see nice and easy in here that the horse is cut out. And we just line that up on the cut lines and it sits in there. Now if you want to see what it looks like without the cut lines, you just go to the line color window and hit the marked one here that's clear. And I'm just going to group it so it moves as one. Now you could see the Mustang inside the word Branch Mustangs. I'm going to pull that over to the side for a moment. And we'll bring in this other one. So this time I'm going to do an offset, oops, not a trace, an offset, on the Mustang. And you want to bring it in really, really, really close to your image. So we're going to do about a one, we'll do a zero, six, zero, that looks good. I'll set the Mustang to the side for a moment. Actually, I want to make sure it's lined up right. So we'll bring it up here. Line it up into the words like before. Get a smidge smaller. Then I'm going to copy and paste on the bottom. 
So on this one I'm going to get rid of the Mustang itself. And on this one... I'm going to get rid of the offset if I can grab it. Okay. So again, we'll highlight both of these. Go to Modify. Subtract. Group that together. And then highlight both of these. And crop. Group that together. And then change the colors. Now because we put the offset in, the Mustang will have a little bit of a gap between the image and the letters. And you'll see the difference here. So this one bunts right up against the lettering, and this one has this that light gap between it. Sometimes when you do it this way with the offset, it's a little easier to read the difference between the lettering and the image itself. So it'll all depend on the image that you choose and how you want to do it. And that is how you do an actual knockout. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.